Beat. Good morning, Indian Hill, and welcome to Braves Beat. I'm Jack Robertson. And I'm Lauren Vinatsky. We seriously have a disgusting amount of news to cover today, so let's pass the ball over to some sports. Your Lady Braves brought home a 47-35 victory Wednesday night against Mount Healthy at Withrow. Marshana Baskin had a breathtaking 22 points. Wowza! They have now advanced to sectional finals Monday night at 6 versus McNick at Withrow. Way to go, ladies! The boys' basketball team brought home a 62-61 victory over Goshen on Monday with a game-winning shot by freshman Colin Shaw. Congratulations, men! Your Aqua Braves headed off to Canton, Ohio this Wednesday to compete in the state meet. We wish them luck as they continue to bring home some more W's. Just keep swimming, Braves. Congratulations to the mock trial team for qualifying and advancing to state. They are now 17-3, and three, so please be sure to congratulate and wish them luck as you see them in the hallways. As we all know, OGTs are just around the corner. Unless you're an upperclassman, you're probably getting nervous. So let's check in with Marky Mark Toller to see how well students did some practice questions for the OGT. If the aardvark metal does the stairs. Only twice, though, because some rares don't usually end up on donkeys. That's acceptable. If the screwdriver and the portrait of clowns storming the beaches in Normandy are at the same wavelength, does the hair. Well, yeah, so if you look at both variables, you can clearly see that the gecko would clearly win in that situation. <laughs> if Somalian pirates and a portrait of David Hasselhoff inside of a beard why does corners? That's false. If the left pectoral muscle at the same time as the avocado inside the buckwheat, does the Somalian pirate also make the same sound? B. That is close, it's actually <laughs> If the moist towelette oh, is I hate that word, you know I hate that word. Succulent. Stop. Then you why? Know I hate the word moist. Then why is lamp? I hate you. If the bird flu and the ear are traveling 90 miles an hour in a moped that is in Narnia, how does buckwheat? You drink the soup. Thanks, Mark. For those of you taking the OGTs, the seniors and juniors will be thinking of you while we're sleeping in. Stop by the Braves Line Shop before 4 p.m. today to get 15% off all sweatpants, sweatshirts, fleeces, winter hats, scarves, and gloves. Wowza! In case you miss out, Braves Line will also be at the Pancake Breakfast tomorrow morning from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. So come out and brave the cold. Next Friday is the annual Powder Puff football game, Junior Girls versus Senior Girls. Come out to Tomahawk Stadium at 6 p.m. for a barbecue dinner before the 7 o'clock kickoff. There will be a bake sale, hot chocolate, t-shirts, fireworks, and a trophy for the winning <coughs> senior team. Come support your women athletes. Who is hungry? I sure could go for a Mexi Melt. Ew, Jack, that has gluten in it. Gluten's bad. Okay. Anyway, let's check in with Maddie Matthews at the Kenwood Taco Bell for our newest segment, Braves Beat Restaurant Rendezvous. So, what would you rate this Mexi Melt? This Mexi Melt is a nine. Sam, Sam, Sam. Yes. How do you rate your fake meat burrito? I would rate it probably an eight. The Baja Blast, solid seven. I rate this chicken quesarito at a solid seven as well. 
It's been a good day. Atmosphere? Ten. Do you hear this music? God admit, I wish I could have one of those quesaritos. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Lauren, you're really weird. Anyway, since we're all pretty big fans of Tweets of the Week, let's check some out. Cody Fan hates missing tests because then he has to borrow his mom's lipstick for the makeup test. Maybe it's the test. Maybe it's Maybelline. We are your biggest Twitter fans, Cody Fan. Cody Fan also addresses the Interstellar Oscar win by pointing out that it certainly had more stars in it than any other competing movie. Great point, Cody. Before we go, we'd like to thank our artists, Shohini Das and Mr. Walter. It looks delicious. We would also like to thank Clay Heald for his beautiful pottery contribution. We'd also like to remind you to like our Braves Beat Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. Be sure to come out to the first round of the basketball tournament tomorrow at 2 at Mason. The boys will be playing the Norwood Indians. Boo! Also come out to the girls' basketball game on Monday at 6 at Withrow. It's the sectional final, so please come out and cheer your girls on to victory. Have a wonderful weekend, Braves. And as always, stay classy, Indian Hill. Today, like must struggle for a living. Be a wife and children, say as many prayers. And who has a right, as master of the house, to have the final word at home? The mama. I'm tired. No, no, no. Oh, we're shaving marks in here. I will remember it forever. And that's it. The yep. end. The end. Yay. Signing off. Power 215. Woo! <laughs>